Who would have thought? I <laughs> the title of this video is "Can You Make Corey Wong Guitar Plugin Chug and Do Um Do the Do the Thing." <laughs> Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Georgi Matvey. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Today, we are going to be checking out the new, updated Neural DSP Archetype Corey Wong X plugin. Let's get into it. So, Neural DSP recently just updated the Archetype Corey Wong plugin. They call it the Corey Wong X. So here's the default tone as soon as you launch the plugin. Pretty sick. I'm a big fan of the Corey Wong plugin by Neural DSP. It's very clean, but it can do a lot of things. It can get pretty, it can get dirty, and obviously it doesn't get dirty like, you know, the, the Fortin Suite or the Gojira plugin, nothing like that. So let's get into this and just start tinkering around with the amp sim. So there's a lot of updates that they did to this thing. One of the big ones is that there's a transpose switch here. So we can go like, you know, a whole step down. <laughs> whole step up and everything in between you can go up a whole octave or you can go an octave down and so we have this one of the other new features is this wah pedal um, there we go. I don't know how to like activate it. Okay, okay, okay. So I can set it to, I'm lear I'm, I literally just opened this. So I'm playing around with it as I'm making this video. And so we can do an auto wah, which is cool. There we go, that's okay, nice. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. So that can be a fun feature. Turn that off. Everything in here is just like the other one. We have the postal service pedal. The fourth position compressor, which is very, very cool. I'm a big fan of this. Anytime I use the, the Cory Wong plugin, I have this generally always on. We can turn this off though. All right, and then we got the, uh, you know, the tuber, the tube screamer, giving you that overdrive. Let's bring the drive all the way down, level up, tone up. This is generally how you would maybe use this pedal for like an overdriven amp, like a Mesa Boogie dual rectifier. Turn that off, and then we got the big rig overdrive, which is very thick, crunchy, lots of distortion. Not lots of distortion, but I guess in this context, it, it is. It makes it kind of wooly, though. I wonder if we tune the, put the tone up. Yeah, there's like this wooly, wooly, thick, bassiness going on with this when we have it up. Still pretty cool. What if you combine these two? Yeah, so the, you know, we'll call it the, the Tube Screamer, the green pedal, really takes care of that bassy wooliness. It's still kind of there. But if you turn this off, what if we turn the drive up on this? All right, we'll turn those back off. Let's continue to the amp section. Amps, we got the same three boys. We got the amp snob, 
the clean machine, and then the DI Funk console. But yeah, the DI Funk consoles just give you a very clean, dry sound. <laughs> not even messing with like the EQ or anything on these amps. So the way that these amps are set up, it kind of follows the same pecking order of like cleanest to dirtiest, right? So the DI Funk console will be as clean as it can get. It's basically a DI signal with a little bit of some little extra magic sauce sprinkled. And then the clean machine is a very clean amp, but just slightly warmer, right? And less of that DI kind of sound. And then the amp snob is like a clean amp, but with just a lot, a lot of more warmth to it. If I'm gonna make like some kind of dirty-ish tone, I would probably use the amp snob, just so that way it's already pretty warm. And to me, whenever you have like a super clean amp and you try to get some kind of distortion going on it, the, it gets very ice picky. It doesn't really quite sit well. So let's go ahead and stay on here. Let's boost the volume. Let's, let's reduce the bass a little bit. Uh, let's, let's pull back the mids. Let's actually push the bass. Scoop the mids. Treble up. Actually, we should probably, I'm gonna lower the bass. Throw the bright switch up. Okay, that's pretty nice. Uh, drive. This has a drive function, okay? Yeah, see what I'm saying? great as is let's go back here and let's get the this the tube screamer bring that down oh my goodness that's what I'm looking for brother I, I love there's like some weird EQ thing I want to kind of clean up but um I love this a very squishy, saturated. <laughs> EQ. Let's see. This also has, oh, okay, a power switch. Let's see, power off. Okay, we want the power on. I guess power off just takes that out completely and you get more of a raw tone, which is cool. All right, let's continue to do the speakers. Actually, we just, we totally skipped that. <laughs> we skipped the cabs and went to the EQ. All right, so what would I do? I would do a 57. Let's hear that sounds. Sounds a little, a little shrill. Um, on a 
Honestly, don't know if I like that, but here's the cool thing. We can hit this button, and now we can pick different cabs to go with this amp. All right, so that's pretty like buzzsawy, beehivey. It's a little warmer, but it goes back to the other. So let's make this a 57 as well. And then what about this one? I actually like this one. But let's go ahead, let's play with other uh, microphones. It's, it's a little bit more warmer sounding. And then does this, it does, dude. Up here, we have a noise gate. So if you make a tone like this and it's a little too, little too sensitive, a little too loud. Right, with that stuff, let's push this puppy up. Generally 65, yeah. That's pretty cool. And then in the EQ, scoop that. That sounds kind of cool, actually. And then we have a high pass and a low pass filter. Just, just take out all that low end, which we don't want to do. but I do like a, a little bit of like a focused. All right, this is turning out to be a pretty fun tone. And then we get to post effects or like after the amp and everything. We have this 80s like chorusy kind of thing going on here. <laughs> So anytime I hear like a super gainy tone with a little bit of like chorus splash in there, I think of Aaron Marshall from Intervals, right? So st something like a... Ah, something like that, dude. I don't know. It's been a minute since I played that, but... Uh... It's the saturation thing. There's like something about like a nice saturated tone. And if you just sprinkle in a little bit of that chorusy thing, not a lot, just a little bit. It just, it just saturates it, makes it a little bit more spongy and squishy. I like it. Okay. And then we got the, the delay. All right. So if you're doing the lead thing. around with delays we kind of get the gist of how they work right um, I don't think we need to really go into it that deep but I think if I were to make a lead tone just mix it in very lightly now this is really cool the wash let's talk about this so turn the shimmer on and you get that, um, what is it, the, the, the big sky, the blue sky. Let's go ahead, just kill the drive. So let's hear how this sounds with no drive. There we go. That's cool, actually. Cool. 
the the shimmer thing to me a little over the top but still really cool without it reverb thing i think yeah very like low gain actually like almost like no gain like edge of breakup sort of thing like if you play soft and then you can kind of dig into the strings a little bit and get that breakup-y kind of sound which I think is awesome so here's our tone and it's still default We've just been tinkering with this. Let's put the drive up. Okay, I love the split coil sound on this. And then full on humbucker. So sick, so sick. I'm gonna save this. That's gonna do it for the video. I love this plugin. This is probably right now my favorite uh, Neural DSP plugin. I love the Nolly as well. I use the Nolly more for like super heavy stuff, but for more versatile all around things, I do a lot of clean stuff, a lot of heavy stuff and everything in between. I think the Corey Wong plugin, it's definitely where you're gonna get the most out of your money. I think if you're looking for something that's just an all encompassing plugin amp, this one does a great job at that. So thank you so much for watching the video. If you've enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.